I really hate landscape mode. Hi guys. Um, it's me, Joni, from Broke with Joni on Instagram. Um, I'm finally doing an apartment tour. I know you guys have asked me for one uh, for some time, but I'm finally doing one. So I'm hopping on YouTube instead of Instagram because I think it just might be easier this way. Um, and it will also be kind of a transition for me to start YouTube finally. And I think it might be a more fun and better outlet for me. My space is not uh, a studio. It's not like a one bedroom, it's a small studio. So this video will be pretty quick, but I know a lot of you guys wanted to see some of the ways I saved space and some of the things that I bought um, on a budget so yeah I'm so glad you guys came to join let's take a look all right so when you walk into my apartment it's a mess so this one right here I don't really want to go into this one because it's such a mess it's like holds everything that I don't want to organize so <laughs> you walk in and you see the space you can see how bright it is it's because my windows are south facing so I lucked out thank god so grateful for that and then this is my living room area. So as you can see, I kept everything pretty white and neutral. Um, the couch is from Ikea. A lot of the pillows are from Home Goods and Target. Um, this table is fairly new. I got this um, just about a month ago uh, because I used to have a round table. And now while a round table is really nice and pretty, it is not very functional um, when you host people. So let me insert a photo here to show you this, uh, the circular table that I had prior. And yeah, you can see that it was probably not the best place for people to eat and to like play games. So this was actually a better layout. Um, the ottomans here are from Home Goods, and I got two different ones because I just thought it would be nice to have different accent colors. Rug is from Target. Wait, no, no, I switched it out. This one's from Home Goods. This one is from Home Goods. <laughs> it's Ruby. Um, that is my makeup dresser station. I told you it's very messy there. I don't photograph that area a lot. This table actually, this little um, marble table with the gold trim actually was here when I had that circular table and I thought it would be more useful, but it was not. All right, um, so my bed was a little cleaner, but Ruby likes to jump around that area, so you'll just see her in this video. Um, the bed frame is from Ikea. I got it uh, years ago in my other apartment, so I just brought it on over. Uh, the bedding is from Home Goods, and this ottoman here is from Wayfair, and for a small space like mine, it's great to have an ottoman with storage. Um, I know I have these ottomans over here. A lot of the ottomans that you see on like Wayfair, Overstock, um, Joss and Main, and Home Goods, you can um, open it up where you can put storage in there. But I just bought these. These were fine. Um, but I decided to do storage for this ottoman instead. Um, it holds a lot of stuff and it's just great for um, a piece by the bed. I actually use this. Um, I'll bring it over here sometimes and I'll put it over here for when more people come. That way it's easier for seating and I just move it around. This was a piece that I had a lot of people ask questions about. This one is from Wayfair. Because my space is small, again, I needed an area where I can eat. Um, if not on my coffee table, I tend to eat over there. Let me show you how we set it up. Uh, I was doing so well with this little movable bar stool island thingy. And then look, I burned it. Gosh, I don't know how that happened, but I burned it. I was so upset. Right, Ruby? Weren't you upset too? Hello? All right, moving on. All right, this is my mirror. I love it. I wish, actually, no, okay, I do love it for the size of my apartment. But I do wish I did get it a little bit bigger. Um, I don't know, width-wise, it was perfect because my space is so small, like I said. But I wish it was a little bit taller, but this was all I could do. I was desperate for a mirror when I moved in. Um, your girl needed to check herself out. So um, this will do. All right, and this is my skincare shelf. Um, I might insert a photo of what it looked like when I first had it. 
insert photo. And yeah, I've definitely um, decluttered a lot of it. I started putting in like, I don't know, my shoe box, my designer handbag boxes, my shoe boxes and things like that, just to kind of um, take over some of the empty space. But yeah, I do mostly skincare. That's how my Instagram started. I would get a lot of skincare from brands and test them out and um, review them. Um, sorry, that's Ruby playing with her <laughs> toy mouse. But yeah, I'm kind of veering out of that for my Instagram. I am doing skincare, but obviously I want to do a lot of home stuff um, as well as clothing hauls and yeah, I'll incorporate skincare routines with it and bag reviews. Um, as you can see, I, oh my gosh, I, this is so embarrassing. I keep my bags there. I know, I know I'll take better care of it. Um, but yeah, I do a lot of, um, or I take, I place a lot of orders at our Ritzia. So maybe I'll do a Ritzia hauls there too, but you can see I have a lot of products and I still have more in the bathroom, which I will show you. But yeah, this shelf is from Ikea. Um, it's the one that starts with F, I'm probably gonna butcher the name, Falconge? I don't know, but it was $149. It's fit perfectly in that little space. It actually fits perfectly in between there too, but the mirror placement was just kind of odd. So um, after asking a few of my friends, I think this was the better setup. That's an air purifier from Winix. My boyfriend's parents uh, gave that to me for Christmas, which was really sweet um, since they know that I'm living with Ruby. Uh, and just to have in general, whether or not I had an animal in here, um, it's just good for the air. Look at how bright it is in here. The light's just coming in. I love it. I think when I move, I definitely have to make sure that the windows are south facing because I'm so spoiled now. And I just love natural sunlight. You guys, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it, but my place is really small, so bear with me. That is a mess. I don't really wanna focus on that at all. I have two closets over here. Um, I have a third closet over there. That's a lot of my jackets, um, a lot of paperwork up on the top and Christmas storage. But yeah, I have my jackets over there. I do have some jackets over here. And that one is just a closet of my laundry detergent, laundry stuff, cleaning supplies. Um, yeah, just extra storage. And this is my tiny little bathroom, my little humble bathroom. Um, it's not so bad. Um, I have, I have this shower pole from Target. Like I said, I do a lot of skincare reviews that includes body stuff, hair, um, hair products. And so I just have a lot of, I don't know, shower caddies, I guess. Most of these products were gifted from brands. I want to say about like 90% of them. Um, and oh yes, I have other stuff in here. I know I have a lot. Again, I review skincare. This is what I do on Instagram. Oh geez, and that's a dirty mirror cleaning that. I always tell myself I'm gonna clean this area, but it I can't help it. It's just always cluttered and I'm gonna keep repeating this. I review skincare, I get PR from brands, so I'm not being reckless by buying all of this. I wanna say like 90% of um, all the skincare products were gifted to me there as well. So you'll be seeing a lot of skincare stuff. Um, that's just my, my thing on Instagram, but again, I wanna try to veer towards other things like clothing hauls, bag reviews, and um, along with skincare reviews and home decor. Okay, Ruby? You guys, I'm like taking a break, I'm recording, but outside there's this handsome young man changing my car battery for me because I'm busy recording my studio in here and uh, too busy to change my own battery. I mean, I'm not like I know how to, but thank you handsome young man for changing my battery. Last but not least is my tiny little kitchen. I don't wanna go into too much of this nonsense. Oh, this thing is a lifesaver, by the way. This, um, this stand, that was from Target. Um, let's not look over there. But my favorite area is the coffee area. So this is a fellow product that gooseneck kettle with the electric pad. I love this thing and I always encourage my friends to buy it if they can. I believe it's 150 with the electric pad, but if you just want the kettle alone, which I think you can put on the stove top, um, it is $75 I wanna say, but that's been life-changing. Um, I make my lattes here, my matcha, 
um, lattes. Clearly, I love lattes. I, I actually order like boxes of oat milk um, and I have them ready for my lattes and my matcha lattes. But yeah, I love to make coffee. Um, yeah, it's such a treat. That's my favorite area. I will get into this another time. You can see I'm backing away because I don't want to go in there. Another fun fact, I don't own a TV. Um, I have not owned a TV for a while because I just like to watch my shows on the laptop um, or my iPad, but I have a monitor now, so I just kind of hook it up so I can play my Switch when friends are over or we can just play a show um, from Netflix. So let me just show you my setup because I have a small space. I know I keep saying that, but then I have nowhere to really hang up my TV since this couch is ginormous and takes up that wall. Um, so yeah, what I did was I attached my monitor to, I know the wiring, to my laptop, which is under here above my little sock and underwear dresser. And yeah, so we watch our shows through here. We'll play Switch here, um, our Switch here, cause I have the console right back there. Um, not placed in the dock, but I have it. Uh, and then we hook up our speaker. So yeah, it's just cute for um, playing or watching when I have friends over from here. And sorry, Ruby is just going crazy. She keeps following me everywhere. You excited? No, probably not. Again, south facing windows, life changing, and hope you guys enjoyed. Oh no, no, one more thing. I have this table, guys, that is like my little desk, but because I need to save space, Ruby, you're gonna have to move. Look, I've stored this away, look how flat it is, right? So I usually put this um, by my dresser and I'll put the autumn in there and I'll sit and I'll do my little work. But isn't it so cool? I bought this on Wayfair. It's sold out on Wayfair, but something like this um, I saw on Amazon and it was actually cheaper on Amazon and nicer. So, so thanks for tuning in guys. That wasn't too hard. Um, just a few pointers about a smaller space studio. Um, because I have a cat and the space is really small, um, I have to dust and Swiffer every day. So I, I apologize if you saw some fur balls and some dust, uh, it's what I get for living with Ruby. Um, but also because the space is 415 square feet, um, I tend to keep my, my furniture lighter so that the place looks bigger. So that's why it's a lot of white. And I know a lot of people are probably nervous about white upkeep, but it's not so bad. It really isn't so bad. Um, so I do clean often. I do have a lot of sprays just in case. Um, what else? And the my walls are pretty bare, except these um, pictures here that are hanging. I got this sent to me from iWoot, um, I-W-O-O-T, and they were kind enough to let me choose um, some of the frames that I wanted. But again, I keep my walls pretty bare. Um, even over here, iWoot sent Where's my, where's my finger? That as well. So yeah, wider just makes things a, a little bit bigger, a little bit more spacious. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my space. I do plan to move this year. Um, my lease is up in May, but it would just be nicer if I had a bit of a bigger space. Trying to keep things minimal but uh, it would be nice for you guys to see the transition from this space to the next in uh, the months to come. Thank you for watching guys, love you.